Hey guys, Rev Tommy Two Tone and Rick the Village Chile. Vlog number nine. We're at Dixie Speedway, which is really called now Sayre Speedway. And uh, Sayre Speedway is um, a little quarter mile track uh, here in Sayre, Alabama. And what we're going to do, Rick the Village Chile, it is take this drone. That one right there. This Phantom 3 Professional and fly it over and check the speedway out. So here I'll hand the Osmo over to you. I got the Osmo. And I will fire up the drone. I have to play with the Osmo a second. I have to get used to the uh, mechanics. Is that still recording, sir? I am asking because I cannot see. If you haven't hit anything, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So what I'm looking for here is my app to fly. Here it is. DJI pilot. Let's connect to the aircraft. Bring it away from the car and power it. Tom's got everything under control. Thank you. Here we go. And back to. You know, I'm going to back up just a little bit more. There we go. What do you call that dance, Tom? The remix version. I don't either. Hey Rick, now we're using the Litchi Osmo, um, I mean the 
Osmo Litchi app. It's a little different than the one you used to with the screen. Everything else is the same. Like I can hit it three times and it'll flip right around and awesome. go to the front. So we just got through droning nice. the Speedway. Something I've been wanting to do. Uh, why is, okay, now we're, we are recording. That red light right there blinking, by the way, means that, or the square when it's not circled there. Yes. And you can hit that button instead of that, and it'll record and, and do the you. same thing. You know, you can get all your, your, um, yeah, the other one is exposures and everything on I got you. Yeah, so. And um, it talks, how nice. Yeah, what she's telling you there is. Okay. Yeah, how do you get rid of that crap? Is that even English? There we go. Yeah, what she's saying is like you can get your mate. Say how it changes your. Um, I do. Light. If you stop okay. touching it, I bet she stops saying. Yeah, that she home. does. I was just showing you. Anyway, you. Um, and then you know, of course, your. Um, the directionals. Your, yeah. I got gotcha. you. The joy so, of the stick. Yeah, well, we'll talk a little bit on the way home and see if we can interest people. I guess the drone video is what's going to interest people, and we may put this actual audio on with that. Who knows? Yes, yeah, sir. But you can uh, you can drone it while we. I mean, drone it. Video us while we're going. This is vlog episode number nine. Nine or nine or shooting toward ten. I always say, hey, I'm going to do a daily vlog, but man, a daily vlog is hard to do. It is, but so you know what they I'm say about number 10, right? What? Perfect. It's got to be a perfect 10. Yeah. Instead of a daily vlog, I think I'm going to call me a sometime vlog, you know. Uh, yeah. Upload at least maybe two a week would be. That's almost ambitious, really, for as much time as I don't have. I definitely can't do a daily one right now, but for sure, two a week is pretty ambitious. I believe I can do that. I did one last week, or Saturday. Today is Tuesday, January the 31st. Yeah, it is. Woo, February 2017, tomorrow. Yippee you know what's good about February? Yeah, you know what's good about February? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm going to tell you what's good about February. There were some great people born in February. One being Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Well, how about that? One being Rev Tommy Two-Tone. Who's he? He is a famous YouTuber. He is. He's a pretty cool cat. He is. Very got more personality in his little finger than most people have in their entire body. I'm not going to argue with that. It'd be useless to argue with that, Rick, because there's evidence to support what he says. But seriously... Um, so we've done the racetrack now. That yes, was we did. My, one of my goals. There's a lake coming up on the right I'd like to drone and, and actually find out when I can go fish it. And it was interesting to find out that there is a pond of nice proportion and size behind the racetrack. Another goal, find out who owns that pond and am I going to be allowed to fish in that pond. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I can't wait thing. to see the video when because I, I could not really see it. I was I was goofing around and videoing you right. with your gar with the sharks on, which those things are very cool. I like those things, by the way. I do too. Um, and I could see a little bit, and I tried to get the camera in there a little bit to see if we could see the lake. So we'll see what happens. Well, one one thing one thing about the uh, it was the drone is it will show you things that you're not going to see from the ground without a doubt. You got that right, my friend. Of course, on the other hand, and I think this is the road to go to that lake I was telling about. Yes, sir. I think it goes right off up in there. Watch the road yourself. And it comes down. The lake's going to be right over here on your right. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the road. Okay. <laughs> I meant watch the road in front of you. That's what I was talking about. Maybe that's the road because that's I the know. lake. Oh, my goodness. That is the road. Look, look. That's the lake. That's the lake. You can see it. It's a big one. Yeah. There's some body of water. Hey, people can see it. Yeah. There's people out there, did you say that? No, I said oh. the people will be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, they can. The thing picks up a lot more than you think it does when you're driving along, you know. It really does. Hour. But anyway. Uh, oh, we came back from a different angle. See, we, we psyched them out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Well, well, well. It's a beautiful day here in the south, my it friend. It is, it is indeed. Which is odd because uh, it's 69 degrees and... It was 68 right before you said that it changed. That it did. Funny. And it is 79. It is look, look. 70, it is 70. 71. Hey. Oh, it's changing before our very eyes. Man, it is a heat wave here in Alabama. Seriously. 
We are crazy. in, uh, well, I would call it north central Alabama. Not north Alabama per se, but more north than south, so north central. Yes. In Birmingham area, you might as well say. 72 degrees now. I, I would go with that. It's very warm outside. It I didn't warm. need this jacket at all. It is windy, however. But we're talking the last day of January. Mm -hmm. We have had very few days below freezing. Well, we've had no days that have stayed below freezing. That's right. Which is rare it does. Uh, I remember three years ago, Rick, when it snowed pretty heavily and iced first, and you almost got stuck in my house. Yeah, it took me three hours to get home. And how far do you live from my house, mile-wise? I don't know. Twelve miles. Twelve, if yeah, if that. So it took you three hours to go twelve miles. That's correct. But let's remind people that there were people stuck on the interstate. There were for for two days. There were. Yeah, I mean they couldn't move their car. So you were lucky to get home when you did. I was. It was white knuckled the entire time. Had way. you been stuck at my house, you would have enjoyed the fact that um, it was just me and the dog. My wife was stuck at work for two days. That's right. We had just bought tons of groceries, so I had plenty of food. We could have nailed out a bunch of videos. Nailed out a bunch of videos. Had a lot of food. Had a lot of firewood. And, and I remember that first day after it snowed, the next day, it only got up to 9 degrees. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't have been all that bad. It would have been pretty cool. We'd watch movies like I did. I was streaming movies and eating food. And, and I was hurt, though. I wanted to get my sled, but that was right before I had my back surgery. Yes, So I, I couldn't really move around very well. So, I, as I remember correctly, I was uh, eating food, watching movies, and taking pain pills because I was hurting so bad, uh, which I don't enjoy doing, uh, but I had to at that particular time. Uh, man, you know, I look back over our six-year career on YouTube, and I have had surgery on my back, surgery on my hand, my defibrillator replaced, Extra stents put in my heart um, and kidney surgery. Can you imagine all that stuff? That's that's a lot of stuff in six years. And stitches. Oh, yeah, a lot of stitches. Oh, and I forgot about that. More stitches, uh, three or four different times, stitches. Yeah. Once from the drone. Yeah. And once from the chainsaw. Yeah. And uh, another thing, uh, having my nose cauterized and and uh, because it bled and wouldn't stop. I mean, Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I'm a fighter. I've That's always right. said I was a survivor uh, until I die. Everybody's a survivor until they die. Have you ever thought about that? People are like, I'm a survivor. He's a survivor. Well, yeah. Until you die, you are a survivor. Yeah, until you die, you're a survivor. And I'll promise you this. None of us are going to get out alive. No. But uh, anyway. Quotes by Rev Tommy Tutone. Yeah. Something I like to say about a cemetery when I drive by, I say people are just dying to get into that place. You can always check in, but you can never check out. Check out. You know, some old Alabama cemetery tours would be pretty good, too. We have some pretty good places to go and some pretty reputedly haunted places. Yes, we do. Here in the south and in the Alabama area. We have some very, very beautiful cemeteries here. Yep. And a lot of bold, beautiful churches. Yes. And some old covered bridges. I have a pastor friend who is a pastor in Pinson, Alabama, and I'm not going to say what church, but... What church? It's a church in Pinson, mm -hmm. but he uh, is of the same denominational faith as me. How about that? I'll give you that. And anyway, his church is reputed to be the most haunted church in the state of Alabama. Huh. And he's actually seen figures moving through the graveyard next to it that have freaked him totally out. And he's a very skeptical person, just like I am. Uh, going through, oh, there's the house that's turned on its side. You oh, see yeah, that? I do see, see it. That? I yeah. see it. I'm not, I'm sure that we're, we're not going to be able to get it to him. Nice, time. No. That's okay. Move this. That's all right. I tried so, what were you saying about spirits? Well, so reputedly there are a lot of ghosts at that particular church. Oh, I like to go by there sometime. Um, yeah, that would be pretty neat. There's only one ghost I'm really concerned about, brother. Which one is that? That's the Holy Ghost. See, that's another thing. I, I've, well, ever since my 
theological education, I guess you could say. I've quit saying Holy Ghost. I do not say that. I say Holy Spirit. Holy oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, but let me, let me rephrase Ghost. that. Let me I thought the that. church was haunted because there was a Holy Ghost. Yeah, let me, let me rephrase that. Yeah. I'm, I was talking about Charlie Brown. Oh. You know, yeah. He's got all the holes, and yeah. he was supposed to be a ghost. That's true. So I, I'm taking for, for as reference, uh, it was meant to be kind of lightly a joke of uh, uh, the Holy Ghost. I got you. Um, which may not be far off base, you know, seeing that it be. was a, a Charles Schultz peanuts be. kind of thing. Um, but How boring do we sound right now? Um, I don't think we sound boring at all because you said that you could edit out a bunch of this stuff. And well, you could I may just... or may not. Here's one thing oh, I would do. Vlogs oh, oh, are pretty... Oh. No, no, that's fine. Okay. That blinking red means it's... it's um, We're good. It'll tell you up it. on top how your power you. is, I mean. Mm -hmm. um, if you learn to read the screen, it'll tell you your exposure, tell you uh, what it's recording at, um, what everything, power of the battery. But what I was going to say is... We'll t I'll tell you what, here's the deal. Let's do a contest, Rick. You want to do a contest? Let's do a contest. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to give away three bottles of my hot sauce, Rev Tommy Two Tones hot sauce. His hot sauce. To somebody who makes a comment on this video. Watch now, the road I'm going to pick it by random. I don't want it to be by who makes the best comment or whatever, because sometimes I only get two or three comments. So this is, this okay. is to get you engaged, YouTube audience. If I get 19 or 20 views, well, I'm 19 or 20 comments. Let us All know. Are we boring as crap? And what what can we do to make the videos more exciting? More drone videos? More far places to go? More hot sauce reviews? More rambling like this? Or do you want us to tackle controversial subjects? Because, believe me, we can be controversial. We can be controversial. Hey, That's Tom. Right. What? So you, wait. You mean the video is not supposed to be drone? We're doing a video yeah, we're not of drums. Right. We're not supposed to oh. do Oh. See, that's I'm my saying. fault, y'all. My bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. I apologize. I dropped the ball. That was on me, folks. I dropped the ball on that one. I got the wrong definition. And, and I thought we were supposed too, to be boring. Because I like to film the drone, too. I'm going to teach you to fly that thing way up in the air. All right, and I promise Which, not now, to crash. Well, here's the deal. I, I may, at first, I may take off and land you and get you up. Because once you're above the trees, you can't crash it unless you do one simple thing. And I'll teach you what that is so you'll not know do to avoid. It. Right. But the, it would cut the engines off immediately, and you can't get them started back in time for a baby to catch back up. So I'm ready. it's a critical fail move. It's, it's intended to kill the motors on purpose. I mean, to you know, I got because you. there may be a time you never know if it like gets away from you and the wind's blowing hard, and you might think it's going toward people or, you know, something like that. Now, today... Today we flew way lower than 400 feet. Matter of fact, I barely got over 200 feet. Nice. We were nowhere near an airport. Nope. Way over five miles from any airport with a control tower. Or people. And probably about 10 or 12 miles from an airport without a control tower. Yes. We did not fly over people. And even though I flew across a road, I didn't hover and stay and fly over the road. So as far as I know and I've been trained to know and have checked, we stayed within every single FAA rule today. Uh, we didn't fly over people's property and hover and take pictures. And, uh, you know, we did take some video of that pond, but um, there was nobody out there. I didn't hover over it. I just thought it was a cool thing, and, and we're just doing this as a hobby. So Correct. Uh, I tend, uh, we stayed within line of sight. I could see the drone at all times. I never had it out of my sight, never sure. had it out of your sight. Nope. So... Um, we did follow all the FAA rules, and I intend to do that, and I implore you, if you have a drone, please fly responsibly. Follow the rules governed by the FAA. Uh, it's simply to keep it where the, the, the more people that follow the rules, the less rules they're going to have to make to govern us, and we'll have more places that we can fly. And so that's that's Indeed. what I got to say about the drones to all you drone pilots. And I know there when you tag it with drone, other people watch it that have drone. I watch a lot of drone videos because there are people flying in some great places in this world, and it has really opened up possibilities that that are unimaginable. So that's that's about that now. Can't imagine. What do you want to say? I can run up my mouth all day, Rick, with or without you. So talk. I want to say that uh, we got to go on a nice adventure today. It was beautiful weather, and. Uh, God's just blessed us beyond belief to have another day on this uh, beautiful planet to be able to go explore it. Yep, yep. yep. And uh, he is Rev Tommy Two-Tone. And I am Rick the Village Chalidiot. Y'all have a good day.
Look for us on number 10. It will be. And it'll be a what, 10? It'll be 10. Vlog number 10 will be the next one. It'll be a perfect Of course, 10. it'll be like our 250th some odd video. It but, will be. But it'll be vlog number 10. It'll be vlog I've number 10. Vlogging. Just a different I'm video just format. Really, yeah, just a different video format. Rev Tommy Two-Tone. Rick the Village Chaletti. Love y'all. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Like I said, one of the commenters will get three free bottles of my hot sauce within the United States. I'm sorry, shipping is outrageous. I can't really afford it overseas. So, United States only. Three bottles of hot sauce. Get this. I don't care if the comment tells us we suck. It's not about what the comment says. Just comment. Nope. Like our videos. Please subscribe. We sure appreciate it. We would. We, we will have more. If you subscribe, click on those notifications. Every time we put up a video, you'll know about it. You don't want to watch it? You don't have to watch it. That's the beauty of YouTube. That's right. Later. Peace. God bless. We're out. You always have to have the last word. No. He's going to edit that out. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>